hello to all today we are going to discuss about the emasculation and the begging technique and this emasculation and the begging techniques are used to achieve the artificial hybridization now we can say it as that artificial hybridization is a approach which is used for the crop improvement program so altogether we can say that to improve the crops we are using the artificial hybridization and to achieve this artificial hybridization we do the process of the emasculation and the bagging now very first you must know that what we do in the artificial uh, hybridization experiment in such crossing experiments it is important to make sure that only the desired pollen grains are used for the purpose of the pollination and therefore the stigma is protected from the unwanted pollen grains means stigma is protected from being contaminated from the unwanted pollen grains and this artificial hybridization is achieved by the use of the two techniques and that techniques are called as the emasculation and the bagging techniques okay now to complete this process of emasculation and the bagging we must use two plants right in this technique one plant will be treated as or considered as the male plant and the another plant will be considered as a female plant so we will be taking two plants right one plant will be treated as a male plant and the another plant will be treated as a female plant okay now now remember this thing that if the female parent bear bisexual flowers not unisexual flowers emasculation is never done in the unisexual flowers emasculation is done only in the case of the bisexual flowers so imagine that if the female parent if the female parent bear bisexual flowers so what we do in this bisexual flower we remove the anthers from this bisexual flower okay so removal of anthers from the flower bud before the anther dehusk using a pair of the forceps is called as emasculation so what we do we choose a female parent which is bearing the bisexual flower and what we do removal of anthers from the flower bud is done before the anther dehusk means before the anther become mature or before the anther dehusk before that we remove the anther from such a bisexual flower and this is called as emasculation and emasculation is done by the use of a pair of the forceps now the question arises that why the emasculation is done the emasculation in this bisexual flower is done to prevent the self pollination why because what happens that in a bisexual flower both the male reproductive part and the female reproductive part is present okay so there are chances of the self pollination to prevent that self pollination we do the process of emasculation so that the cross pollination can be achieved in the crop development programs okay now the another is known as the bagging now what we do emasculated flowers are bagged okay to prevent them from the unwanted pollen grains okay so emasculated flowers have to be covered with the help of a bag of suitable size and this bag is generally made of the butter paper why this emasculated flowers are bagged to prevent them from contamination of its stigma with the unwanted pollen grains to prevent its stigma from the contamination of the unwanted pollen grains we do bagging and that's why this entire process is called as bagging so what we have done we have removed the anthers from a bisexual flower before the anther dehiscence and then the emasculated flowers have been covered with the help of a bag of suitable size made up of the butter paper right to prevent its contamination from the unwanted pollen grain and this process is called as the bagging okay now we have done the bagging when the stigma of the bagged flower 
Now, when the stigma of the backed flower attains maturity, means it attains receptivity, then what we'll do? The mature pollen grain are collected. The mature pollen grains are now collected from the anthers, the anthers of the male parent and they are dusted on the stigma of the emasculated flower and the flowers are rebagged again. So what we have done now, we will be waiting for the maturity of the stigma. When the stigma of the backed flower become or attain maturity and receptivity, the mature pollen grains are collected from the male parent and they are dusted on the stigma of the emasculated flowers. And then after you have dusted the pollen grains on the stigma, the flower is again rebagged and the fruits are allowed to develop. Okay, so this entire technique is called as emasculation and bagging. First we do emasculation and then we do bagging. Now, if the female parent, now this is very important, if the female parent produces unisexual flower, earlier also I have said, if the female parent is bisexual, having the bisexual flower, then only the emasculation is done. Okay, emasculation is not done in the female parent which is actually constituting the unisexual flowers. There is no need of the emasculation. Why? Because the female plant is having the unisexual flower and there is no need of the emasculation. There is no need of the removal of the anthers here. Here the female flower buds, here the female flower buds are bagged. No emasculation is done in this unisexual flower. Here the female flower buds are bagged before the flowers open. So before the flower opens, the female flower buds are bagged. Okay. Now, when the stigma become receptive, when this stigma, which was bagged, okay, when this stigma become receptive, the pollination is carried out by using the desired pollen grains, okay, and the flowers are rebagged again. Means in this unisexual flower, when the stigma will become receptive, the pollen grains are actually carried out from the desired male plant and they are dusted on the stigma of this flower and they are again rebagged. Okay. So, bagging is done to prevent undesirable cross pollination. Why bagging? Why bagging is done? The very important thing is that that why bagging is done and why emasculation is done. So, emasculation is done to prevent the self pollination. Always remember. And bagging is done to prevent the undesirable cross pollination. So, to prevent undesirable cross pollination, we do the process of bagging. Okay. So, this emasculation and bagging are very important techniques used in artificial hybridization for the crop improvement program. So thanks a lot for watching me. We'll be coming soon with few more videos. If you want to take the screenshot of this video, you can take.